You are tuned into TCS Podcasts. Welcome to another edition of the TCS Podcast. I am Shank Som, your host. And today we will head out into the stars and boldly go where no one has gone before. To guide us through this journey is TCS Sir Shubhrajyoti Roy Chaudhary, who had a critical role to play in the Square Kilometer Array, or in short, the SCAR Radio Telescope Project. So welcome, Shubhra, and thank you for being on the show. Thank you very much, Shankar, for inviting me in this conversation. Thanks. So Shubhra, TCS helping humankind explore the universe. That's fascinating. Uh, how are some other ways in which TCS is involved in the area of space technologies? Excellent question to start with, Shankho. So, TCS ventured into big science projects with its involvement with the International Thermonuclear Experimental Reactor Project back in 2007, where it tried to figure out the architecture for uh, architecture and the design of the control system uh, for ITER. And subsequent to that, uh, what it did was it worked out a generic approach to control system architecture, which was reapplicable to a system, a big physics project, but of different nature, which is a telescope uh, located near Pune, it's called the Giant Meter Wave Radio Telescope, uh, which is also a pathfinder for the Square Kilometer Array Project, which is where TCS is currently playing an important role. So, as you can see, that TCS already has spent a couple of uh, quite uh, some time uh, working with big science projects, uh, and which has actually opened up multiple uh, possibilities for TCS to, uh, you know, contribute in other big science related projects as well. So uh, very clearly, Shubhra, TCS is not a stranger to big science. Uh, and, uh, you know, uh, who knew that we were already involved in so many other big science projects, right? Uh, so Shubhra, what is the SCAR project? Uh, and uh, what's uh, special about these telescopes, apart from the fact that they're big? Uh, and why are you right. so sure that these will help us answer questions about our universe that other projects couldn't? Great question, uh, Shankar. So, uh, SK is uh, a ground-based radio telescope, and uh, it's going to be world's most powerful uh, ground-based radio telescope. And, uh, you know, among the many scientific objectives that SK has, you know, uh, it'll a, a layman's objective that could be understood by someone who is, you know, not familiar with the astronomy domain is about understanding how the universe was formed and evolved, you know. Uh, so you can imagine that uh, such a scientific quest will need to be supported with extreme engineering capabilities. And that is where, uh, you know, uh, you could see that uh, fascinating set of engineering challenges that SK tries to overcome. Uh, SK would operate over a wide range of frequencies with a collecting area of one square kilometer. Uh, and it will be obviously many times more sensitive than the current radio telescopes that we have. To give you some example of the scientific uh, engineering capabilities that it would require. So the data flowing from the antennas to the signal processing unit of SK would be 100,000 times more faster than the projected global average broadband speed for 2022. Another example would be, you know, it will have enough optical fiber to wrap twice around the earth and so on. So many of these engineering, fascinating engineering challenges, you could actually uh, see them mentioned uh, on the SK web website itself. Uh, and, and there are many more challenges as well. Okay. And uh, if I may ask, what was TCS's role in this project, uh, including, uh, you know, your specific role in this show group? Sure, Shankar. So uh, a system like SK would require uh, all its components to be coordinated and, and orchestrated so that the scientific goals were being explored or could be explored, right? And typically it is done with the help of a component that does operations management of the telescope as well as controlling of its various components. And in the context of SK, this component was called the telescope manager. And in order to design and architect the telescope manager, uh, there was an international consortium which was for, formed. And uh, there were many international institutes representing their own countries who participated and uh, became a member of this consortium. And as part of the Indian team, uh, we also became 
members of the uh, consortium uh, from TCS, Dr. Swaminathan and I actually uh, became a member of this consortium, which was led by Professor Yashwan Gupta of National Center for Radio Astrophysics in Pune. And on behalf of this consortium, Dr. Swami and I took specific roles as a project engineer for telescope manager, and I was leading the design and architecture of the control and monitoring system of uh, the telescope, which essentially is the nervous system of a system like SKA. Uh, the work entailed you know, working with an engineering team, which was done with uh, the help of uh, TCS Engineering and Industrial Services, uh, basically work with them to create understanding about the requirements and guide them to create an architecture, working with a set of international collaborators from within the Telescope Manager Consortium, as well as members from other consortiums of SK, to make sure that this control system design that we formulated was good enough to integrate with all the vast variety of components that SK actually needed to incorporate uh, so that it ensured that it was able to control them and integrate them and so on. And finally, uh, I was one of the four mem member team uh, which represented the uh, architecture and design to uh, in front of a critical design review panel. Uh, and thankfully, we successfully passed the critical design review so, Shubhra, what you described just sounded fascinating. Uh, I have an engineering background myself, but, uh, uh, you know, uh, what, what you just described sounded extremely complicated and daunting. Uh, but when uh, when things are complicated and daunting, there are a lot of challenges that one has to overcome, and there are also a lot of learnings uh, that you take back from those challenges. Uh, I, I think it will be very, very interesting for our uh, listeners to hear what were some of the specific challenges that you faced uh, and also what were some of the learnings that you took back from them? Uh, so over to you, Shubhra. Excellent question, uh, Shankar. So uh, me and Swami being members of the TCS research uh, organization, we actually were looking for challenges uh, from the SK project, you know, uh, because SK is a very unique project uh, and obviously it, it posed unique challenges and that is what really fascinated us as well. So to start with, you know, given the nature of SK project, uh, which is being funded by different uh, governmental organizations across various countries, there was always a drive towards minimizing cost, uh, the engineering cost of the system. Right? And uh, that really required to have deeper understanding of the system in terms of what were the common aspects of the system and what were the variable aspects, right, the commonalities and the variabilities of the system. And we need to investigate that very closely to come up with solutions which could address the common problems uh, in a similar way uh, and so on. So the other challenge was SK being, uh, you know, it's going to be one of the world's most powerful telescopes. So obviously, so the architecture demanded parallelization of the execution and operations of SK. And the architecture actually had to really uh, you know, address uh, that kind of a requirement as well. SK also will be operated over decades, so it will have a very long lifetime. Uh, so it really needed to ensure that the mechanism which was being put in place, which will integrate the vast variety of devices in SK and components of SK, uh, would enable such an evolution, uh, so that it enabled newer technologies to come in and get integrated and controlled for the I, I think very, very insightful uh, comments and observations, uh, Shubro. So, um, so architectural complexity, compatibility, uh, cultural differences. Uh, so we see all of these in the projects that we execute in, in the business in TCS, but uh, I'm sure that what you and the team were up against were uh, of big science proportions. So thank you for a truly insightful discussion, uh, Shubro, and uh, might I say this is one small step for TCS, uh, but potentially one giant leap for space exploration. Uh, so goodbye to all the listeners, and thank you for uh, listening to us on this show. Thank you very much, Shankar. You are tuned into TCS Podcasts. 